a lot of my paintings uh, have a dot. And um, I'll say a few free associations on dot. The first thing, my mother's name was Doris, and, and her family always called her Dot. So every Dot, in a sense, is my mother. And when I asked this Aboriginal woman the other day, Cecily, and she's doing all these Dots, dozens and hundreds of Dots, 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 and, and she said, I said, who told you to do that Dot? And she pointed to an area of the painting which she said represented her grandma. She said, my grandmother, of course. Yeah? So she's got this, and in a way, every time I do a dot, I'm all, uh, maybe, well, I'm doing all the painting, but particularly when I'm doing dots, I'm always thinking of my mother. Now, another negative story. My first uh, uh, father-in-law, when I, I went to him one evening, he's reading the newspaper beside the, the reading lamp, and I said, you know, I'd like to get married to your daughter. And he was Russian, a big accent. He says, oh, Dot's nice. And he turned over the page and kept reading. <laughs> That's another association on Dot. <laughs> and, but so I, I use, the, the Dot has tremendous power. I mean, I mean these, these paintings have no what is usually called color because black has so much power. Now what I've found, if I want to use other colors, I've got to use at least three before they get any power in them. One or two blue or a blue doesn't do a thing. It's got to have, it's got to have three. And very often, and not always, one of those needs to be gold, because gold sort of produces friendship amongst the colours and so sort of stops the colours, as it were, fighting with each other. But you always have to put black in. Without black, it doesn't have power. So sometimes I will do coloured paintings, say three or more, usually with some gold, and then just one bit of black, and all of a sudden it has power. You need, you need the black. What happens if I do just the dot? Now, dot's nice. Dots as good as I can ever do. So for years I taught, I would, I, I mean, years I worked with people at a sand tray and I say, well here it is, okay now, so take this little stone or something, where are you going to put it? You know, it's just like making your own sort of miniature Japanese garden. You want to put it here, you want to put it there, you want to move it like this, you want to move it like that. How, what do you want to do with it? Let's find how you put it and just how you orient it and let's see what it's done to your life energy and to those who then view it. You see? So a lot of it is to do with placement. A lot of it is to do with placement. But can you see how this, this one dot will, will, in that space, in that spot, that dot in that spot will balance all the white. Look at the power of that little bugger. Isn't that extraordinary? So that's the very place to put it. Okay. Here's a different place. And it still works. We've examined these with many people. It still works. The life energy, the quote, quote, potential healing power, in quotes, is the same. Now here's another one in a different position, different size dot. It still works. This is all that's necessary. But who is going right? to... Who, who's going to respect, never mind buy, who's going to respect a dot? So initially, I worked for a long time. Where to put the dot? Where to feel it? Where, not, not to say... And not to say is it mathematically where to put it, but, uh, but but you say oh it's got to be there, not there, da 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 da. But not not I'm not thinking the process, but you get. But what I realise it doesn't matter where you put the dot. 
It's why you put the dot. But just imagine, I'll come back to that in a minute, if you remind me. Imagine that you go to Carnegie Hall uh, and uh, there's a, uh, a, a, the latest John Cage symphony. And they come out on this, everyone's there, they're all dressed up in their, you know, suits and God knows what they paid a fortune to be there. And he comes out and he goes, bang, and he walks off and that was it. People are going to be furious. But suppose you have a, a, a troop of a dozen Japanese vigorous half-naked or more than half-naked drummers. Bo, bo, bang, 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 bang. Ah, we got our money's worth. Right, imagine you go to a literary uh, evening and they read you out uh, the prelude of, of Wordsworth or they read you out you know, it's the Samson Agonistes of, of, of Milton. Well, you've got your money's worth. But what if, what if the guy just comes out and he does a haiku, a beautiful Busan haiku, a shiki haiku, a basho haiku, an isa haiku? Oh, that's it? Well, yes, it is. It really is. It really is. One, one is a haiku. One, even more to me, one Busan haiku has it all. Has it all. No, one, no one's going to take it in our culture. No one's going to take that seriously. It's got nothing superficial about it. And it's, it's there's no, no, no mythology. That's it. That is as my. That is my dot. That is my mother. That's as best as I can do it. What I've realised after years of trying to, you know, oh, it doesn't matter where you put it. It's why you put it. That's what matters. So if I. Uh, uh, well, there's no accidents, are there? So if it if the blob falls on the on the on the canvas, it was meant to fall just there, yes. But but it's not as if it's not as it's not a question of of being planned or unplanned. That that's that was my intention when I picked up the brush. Where it landed, I didn't know. My eyes were closed. I just knew where the board was because I, you know, I, I, I have an intricate, uh, intimate sense of where the boards are after all this time. But it was just, it was just, it was allowed to happen. So this is, as it were, my healing intention or the intention of healing coming through me to her to, I hope, my mythology is that it will have some benefit. So and I am in a position to sort of say that I at least think or delude myself that it is my intention beside every uh, painting and every photograph uh, that I do and, and all my writing and so forth and I hope this as well. So that, it's the intention that matters. Now compare that one with this one, which I also think is pretty, pretty jolly good for you know for what I do, but you see, can you see that the power? People will prefer this one. Well, they don't prefer it to a uh, a regular painting because was, what what is a big deal? But, but a dot. That's not a dot. That's my mother. That's my mother. Huh? Right. So there we are.